Ladies and gentlemen, we are watching the Nintendo Direct today. I'm super excited for Splatoon 3 information and, uh, you know, more information on, on uh, Breath of the Wild, so we'll see what happens. Nothing happens. Oh, Pikmin 4. It's so beautiful. The planet is gorgeous. I really like the gate, like a garden. Like you can tell this isn't as destroyed as the other games. Those guys are so cute. Looks like there's little ice things for you to pick up. Who is this? This is someone new. We got our onion. Oh, it does look so much better when the camera's near the ground. It looks so cool like this. Okay, this is a plus. That wall looks weird. Oh! You can climb up walls with that. And you're getting human items? Treasures, okay. Ice Pikmin. That's fascinating, actually. And you can freeze enemies. This is like huge. There's only like five Pikmin types or seven or something. It's a doge. A creepy doge. Oh, but he likes us. Oh. Okay, one of our captain's name is Shepard. But not her name. Man, you can ride the dog. Whoa, and they're finding more castaways? Did their ship have more than like three people on it? Like an actual passenger ship? Ew. Oh, gross. It has the caves from Pikmin. Is it Pikmin 2? That's cool. Oh, this looks like it's going to be the definitive Pikmin game here. Like the surface, underworld. Dang. That looks really fun, actually. I played Pikmin 3, but... And I liked it. I just wasn't absolutely... Whoa, what's going on here? Are those star bits? <gasps> oh my gosh. <laughs> What? Ah, oh, in July? Oh, I thought it was coming. I guess Breath of the Wild is coming up before then, so it makes sense. And I'll be your guide for today's Nintendo Direct. Thank you, Takahashi. That was the latest trailer for Pikmin <laughs> Introducing Volume Three of the Xenoblade Chronicles Three expansion. Okay, I was like, that looks like Shantae. <laughs> not, not Shantae, the genie. Say hello to Masha, the newest hero nice. and a refined lapidary. I don't know what's going on, but it looks cool. Volume 3 of the Xenoblade Chronicles 3 huh. expansion pass for the Xenoblade Chronicles 3 game launches on the Nintendo Switch system February 15th. Shake it, amigo! There was a leak about this earlier today. Two, one, yeah. Samba de Amigo. Brand new Samba de Amigo game. Oh, it's not a perk. Port, it's just Grab a new one. Joy-Con controllers and gently shake them like maracas to match the targets during a song. Well, that's cool. You put them up, middle, or down. Follow the instructions on screen to pose and dance. <laughs> but the unexpected might happen, so stay on your toes. Welcome to Fashion Dreamer. Fashion this Dreamer. This is the place to glam it up and express yourself. It's weird the floating space their city's in. Like, it's not normal influencer. roads, it's just floating passageways. Okay. You can get the items other people are wearing by liking them. 
and thus you can steal clothing. Mix and match your favorites Wait, to that's create just the Animal looks. Crossing UI. <laughs> By connecting online, you can expand hey, your if it works, it works. And grow your an eye for fashion? Then get I do. styling. When no, Fashion Dreamer <laughs> debuts exclusively on Nintendo Switch this year. Oh, by year. Marvelous. Fascinating. Dead cells. I've only heard good things about this. Venture through the castle's hellish it looks hells really good. Alongside Richter Belmont and Alucard, leading up to a showdown with Death and Dracula himself. Whoa. Wheel the Vampire Killer. And other oh, this is cool. As you vanquish legions of monsters it's like a crossover combat. with uh, Castlevania. Twelve original covers and 51 songs from the Castlevania series yeah. accompany you during your quest in Dead Cells. Return to Castlevania. That's going to be really cool. Into Nintendo Switch March 6th. Pre-orders begin today on Nintendo eShop. Enter a new grid in this narrative puzzle adventure set within the Tron universe. Uncover dangerous truths Aww. and retrieve what was lost as you navigate through a perilous world. It's like a your choose your own adventure thing. As you forge will impact your journey and the entire server. Tron Identity launches first for consoles. It's cool on when they have the shots Switch like that, April. but then the shots of people looking away from the camera like, who's there? Kind of weird. <laughs> Wait, is that? Well, that's Ace Attorney. Good. The time bending no. murder mystery ghost trick returns Dang in HD. It. <laughs> After kicking the bucket and becoming a ghost, you can possess and control objects. <laughs> After With death. Powers, you can even help others like this woman and change any ill fated. Uh, fates. Oh, that's cool. Ghost trick, Phantom Detective. That's Spirit super cool. Like save people's lives by switching things up. Two connected worlds, one suspenseful thriller. <laughs> we got the got the Japanese voices. Catalyst. Okay, so there's a normal world and the virtual world, which is a copy of reality. I really like investigative games, and these, this one and the one before, kind of are really cool. Whoa, and you get to fight people too? <laughs> the character designs kind of look like Ace Attorney or Professor Layton, actually. The 3D models, you know? There's so much. Every time I'm like, okay, I understand what this game is. There's more. I'm like, what is going on? <laughs> wow. Is this a new game? Is it a port? <gasps> it's by the Professor Layton team. Level 5. Oh, that's so cool. I think I'm going to get that. Experience Bayonetta's origins as a young witch named Cereza. Whoa. Seeking the power to rescue her imprisoned mother. Bayonetta spinoff. deep into the Avalon forest ruled by fairies. I'm going to that forest. I'm going to become a witch and save mummy. Aw, she did to save her she parent. encounter the otherworldly demon Cheshire. You'll control both witch and demon at the same Whoa. time. Harness Cereza's magic and Cheshire's ferocity to travel through this mysterious and dangerous forest. This is almost a Bayonetta game for They'll people, to work for like, in kids as well. As well. <laughs> Cereza cannot attack and can It's like the main one, Cheshire like, has the, you know, whole thing enemies. with the clothing disappearing the or her hair disappearing. Cheshire attacks. Or stop an aggressive one to focus on another. Strategically it looks use beautiful. Each character's abilities to win battles. Like hand-drawn style, but 3D. <laughs> the duo will gain strength as they continue their journey. By obtaining more powers, new paths can be opened, and battles oh, and this can looks be like more completely different gameplay from the original. I mean, they're still battling. 
but more puzzle platforming stuff. Happily ever after? Hmm. Bayonetta Origins, Cereza, and the Lost Demon prowls onto the Nintendo Switch system March 17th. Pre-orders are available now on Nintendo eShop. How was that? Next, please take Looks a pretty look good. at this. Uh-oh. Big one. Yes! Splatoon, baby! Alright, what do we got here? DLC! Oh my gosh! I didn't think they were actually going to announce the DLC, but they're going to do it. <gasps> no way. Somebody called this as the DLC place, and they were right. They were right. Oh, and it's a rail station. Let's go. What? Oh, <gasps> it's the first game. It's the first area. <gasps> oh my gosh. What? With merch. <laughs> What? They're adding game what in Copolis? Three expansion pass. This paid DLC includes two waves of content. The first wave is Inkopolis. No way. Splat tastic place from the original Splatoon game. Your stomping grounds. What? It's cool, but what do you do? This is Booyah Base. It's got some pretty nifty weapons and gear. Does it add all the stuff Most from the original games? Your faces alongside new shopkeepers. Shelly and Shelly. The same as the ones in Splatsville. So shop oh. wherever your vibes are strongest. The same as in Splatsville. That's disappointing. Table turf battle. <gasps> the show. And amiibo functionality all work in the same way here too. Then what's the point? Oh, I see. Have them perform. The Squid Sisters will also perform here during Splatfest. Fascinating. I mean, this is cool. But I want them to make it more worth it. Head over to Inkopolis. This is really cool. Like, I'm, I want to go by and see it. But I want it to be a thing I want to go back the and forth. The first wave of this paid DLC launches this spring. Come on, give us more than that. Okay. Oh, what's this? <gasps> Pearl and Marina. Yes! What is this place? It's it's the second game area. This is Inkopolis Square. Side order. Huh. But so they're saying that the Perlina DLC will be in this. Yes, Wave okay. Wave 1 Inkopolis launches this spring. Wave two, side order will launch in the future. But what else? So you can have your base be in Copolis. The Splatoon 3 expansion pass will be available later today. On today? The e -shop. What? <laughs> Many people have played Splatoon 3 since its launch. Oh my gosh. I guess I'm playing Thank Splatoon 3 tonight. <laughs> We hope players will be able to enjoy the game even more with the upcoming paid expansion pass. I'm getting it, but Please I still don't know what it is. <laughs> 3 in the future. Let's see some more Nintendo Does it Switch replace headlines. Splatsville with Inkopolis? Does it let you travel between the two and you can choose which one to do things from? Friends on Illusion Island. Mickey Mouse, Minnie Mouse, Donald Duck. We didn't even get the new Goofy. season trailer. Embark on a new so adventure weird. to find three magical books and save the mysterious island of Mana. Okay, this Mickey game actually looks kind of fun. I don't think I'll get it, but it looks and fun. Swing to explore every nook and cranny of the island. By unlocking special abilities, you can reach new places and find secret areas. Cross large chasms with boost jump. Round pound barriers to open new spaces. 
and glide through the air to reach distant platforms and hidden areas. Each character's personality shines through in their actions. Up to four pals locally. Okay, I thought they were going to say they platform differently, but it looks like they platform identically, but they look different. Play leapfrog for larger jumps or drop a rope to lend a hand. Oh, and it's multiplayer. Together to save Monoff, and you might discover new paths. What a wholesome game. While exploring the island, you'll meet unusual allies and dangerous foes. Study their movements carefully to figure out the <laughs> secrets to victory. This is a new Hollow Knight, guys. This is Silk Song. <laughs> you just don't know it yet. In Disney Illusion Island, swinging onto Nintendo Switch July 28th. Pre-orders begin today on Nintendo eShop. More emblems are on the way. DLC for Engage. New emblems yep. are coming through future waves of the Fire Emblem Engage expansion it. pass DLC. Wave 2 includes Hector, Emblem of Strength. Raise Has Wave 1 already come out? Counter -attacks. Maybe. There is only one person who can make Sorin, Emblem of Acumen. Cast magic spells over a wide area. I like Robin and Smash, so I like the spellcasters. Emblem of Revelation. Modify the terrain to hinder enemies. Wave three includes Robin. Emblem of Bond. Yes, Robin. Let's go. Foes with sword and magic attacks. Veronica, emblem of heroes. I see you. Summon additional allies to fight for your cause. That's just like the the mobile game. New emblems. Had the same little altar stone and everything. And in Wave 4, a new story called Belzinalog will be unlocked. Thank you for answering our prayers. Who is it that's putting your world in danger now? Watch out! Assassin! Wave 2 of the Fire Emblem Engage expansion pass for the Fire Emblem Engage game launches on the Nintendo Switch system Shadow drop today. later today. Take control of your destiny. This is Reverie, a world in which deities known as aspirations dwell. When a megacorp endangers the harmony between Reverie and our world, the future of humanity this hangs cool. in the balance. In this narrative adventure, harness your divine gift of clairvoyance to travel between worlds, see the future, and decide humanity's fate. Many branching story paths, along with a riveting soundtrack by Celeste composer Lena Rain, set oh. the stage for your journey. Eventually, you'll That's start awesome. with one of the six aspirations like Bond, Power, or Chaos to change the story's outcome. To which destiny do you aspire? Harmony, the fall of reverie. Launches that looks first so for consoles on Nintendo Switch. There's this so many year. cool games coming out, man. These games will have you I see a in. montage. Maybe. Yeah. Octopath Traveler 2 is just around the corner. <laughs> After today's Nintendo Direct, looks good. Demo and I'm sure many people like it, but it's, I tried the demo Nintendo for one of the similar games like this, and it just wasn't my thing. Await. Which path will you take first? Who will your allies but it looks be? gorgeous. And where will your journey lead you? Venture through a brand new world. I think it's cool how like the Octopath environments Traveler are realistic, but the people are Nintendo pixels. Switch, February 24th. <laughs> Keep it rolling. Run around and collect oodles of objects in this remaster of We Love Katamari. Huh. Roll in a classroom, a zoo, and space? New features include playing as the young king of all cosmos in five new challenges. And taking photos with a selfie camera. Wow. We Love Katamari Reroll plus Royal Reverie comes to Nintendo Switch June 2nd. In addition, another wacky Nintendo fun Switch game. Switch online members can play a free game oh, trial of Katamari Damashi Reroll. Maybe I'll try it out. Combine the power of the sun and moon to fend off evil in this turn based RPG. Freely traverse a breathtaking world. Meet characters from all walks of life and devastate foes with timed attacks in battle. 
Complement your journey with enchanting melodies and retro-inspired tunes from the renowned Yasunori Mitsuda, a guest composer for the game. Sea of Stars sails onto Nintendo Switch August 29th. A free demo will launch later today on Nintendo eShop. Duke it out in this free-to-play online multiplayer showdown. Form two teams of three and challenge others to huh. lightning fast battles, air hockey style. Got the second I thought the characters looked like Overwatch characters. <laughs> each match. But not not so much change anymore. The, course trajectory from afar. the UI looks like uh Block areas to gain the Pokemon. Oh gosh, it's like League of Legends but for Pokemon. Out of the arena with explosive oh, I can't remember moves. what it's called. Omega Strikers slides onto Nintendo Switch April 27th. Pre-orders for this free-to-play game begin today on Nintendo eShop. <laughs> Pre-orders for free to play? How does that work? <laughs> you pay nothing to do the pre-order? A collection of the first three Etrian Odyssey games is coming to Nintendo Switch remastered in HD. Many so many remasters. I was listening to uh, the Nintendo podcast, and they were calling like a bunch of remasters, like ports. I'm pretty sure Oriel was Arlo who called that. I can't remember one of the two. the map as you explore. You can progress. Whoever did it, they were right. Venture into the labyrinth with five adventurers. As the guild leader, you'll assign them roles like the ally defending protector or the ultra fast dark hunter. But be warned, every adventure is fraught with danger. Should you fall in battle, you can change your team and learn new skills to strengthen your party before challenging the labyrinth again. 24 newly drawn character illustrations are included. Plus, take advantage of new difficulty options and a new auto mapping function for smoother exploration. Looks interesting. Petrian Odyssey Origins Collection launches on Nintendo Switch June 1st. Each game in the collection will also be available separately on Nintendo eShop. Pre-orders begin today on Nintendo eShop. Get your tactical skills ready. Hey. Calling all strategy People fans. also thought the this Avengers was going to come. One plus two reboot camp games only a couple of months away. Oh, interesting. Boy, They're not just going to shadow Max, drop it. Sammy and more in two full story campaigns. Each one animation looks with cool. Powerful turn based tactical action. Flex your strategic muscles across a multitude of modes. Design your own maps and share them with friends. Cool. Plus go head to head in local and online play. Advanced Wars is fun. Wars 1 plus 2 Reboot Camp comes to Nintendo Switch <laughs> April 21st. Pre-orders begin today on Nintendo eShop. Breath of the Wild. Dang it. <laughs> the new Kirby game, I believe. A new story will unfold in the Kirby's Return yeah. to Dreamland Deluxe game. We knew this was coming, though. Magalore, the interdimensional traveler from the main adventure, has lost his powers and must escape the realm between dimensions. Wait, do you play as him? No. Maybe. You do. All you can do now is a basic attack and jump. Fascinating. To regain Magalore's powers, you'll need to collect magic points by defeating enemies. With magic points, different abilities can be restored and enhanced. This is diff completely different progression for most Kirby games. Magalore's levitation. Until you can fly over every level. <laughs> the order in which you restore yes, okay. his power. I'm sure they didn't do it like that. You. There are over 20 interdimensional stages to explore. So is this like DLC? That would make sense. Keep it short. Up to four players on the same system can venture through this mysterious realm together. Magalo lost his powers, but somehow duplicated himself in his power. <laughs> safely return to his world. You can access this new epilogue after clearing story. Oh, okay, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. But it doesn't look like DLC, just there, which is kind of fun. After today's Nintendo Direct, a demo will be available on Nintendo nice. Wii Shop. Up to four players can play a specially arranged demo with select stages and sub-games. 
Kirby's Return to Dreamland Deluxe launches on the Nintendo Switch system February 24th. Pre-orders are available now on Nintendo eShop. We hope you're looking forward to the new story in Kirby's Return to Dreamland Deluxe. I'm not Land not Deluxe. looking forward to it, but I'm not Next, looking forward to it necessarily. <laughs> I don't play all Please the Kirby take a games. Look at this. Sorry, Tek Takahashi. Nintendo Game Boy on NSO. Yep. Game Boy games are being added to Nintendo Switch online. Man, everybody's really good at calling what's in these directs. <laughs> on Nintendo Switch, you can play That's a fun game. Anytime, anywhere, I got stuck in the like eighth dungeon, the but I haven't beaten it yet. Let's introduce the games that will be available at launch. Well, so the Link's Awakening, Tetris. Tetris. Arrange the falling Tetraminos um, and Super Mario High Score. World Super Mario 2 Super Mario Land 2 sits golden Super Mario coins. Land 2 Reclaim the okay. castle that Wario stole that one. from you The Legend yes. of Zelda Link's Awakening DX Awaken the Windfish to escape Kohalent Island <laughs> Gargoyle's Quest Save the Ghoul Realm as Firebrand from the Ghosts and Goblins series I hope that after they've ported Game all this to Gallery the Switch 3. whatever the next console is they just take titles. all of it and put it onto there too since it seems like they're making it in a way that it should be Alone easy to do the that. Dark, the new nightmare. Solve a murder mystery on the supernatural oh, man. Shadow Island. Metroid 2 Return of Samus. Destroy nice. the Metroids hiding on planet SR388. Wario Land 3. Ooh. Traverse a world that changes between day and night based on your actions. <laughs> He's on fire. Dreamland. Float, inhale, and spit out enemies in Kirby's debut title. You can use the Game Boy, Game Boy Pocket, or Game what? Boy Color Screen Filters. That's Up to cool. Two players can play compatible games together locally or online. We knew that. They do that for all the NSO More stuff. games will be added in the future. Ooh, that'd be fun. Oracle Seasons and Ages. I've never played that. And. Oh, Game Boy Advance. Game Boy Advance games are being added oh, to Nintendo Switch let's Online go. Plus expansion pack. Here are the games that you can play at <gasps> launch. So good. Dun, 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 Super dun, Mario dun, dun. Advance 4. Super Mario Brothers 3. Super Play Mario Brothers 3, so good. Nintendo e-reader accessory. I love that one. WarioWare Inc. Mega Micro Games. Experience the origins of the lightning fast micro games. Kuru, kuru, kuru in. This is a lot of games to coming to NSO. Good, good on them, man. I'm impressed. Mario Kart Super Circuit. Race in the first like Mario Kart so many game Mario Kart games on the Switch system. now. <laughs> Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga. <gasps> Mario and Luigi confirmed. Zany Just world and fight with equally zany attacks. I played the Bowser's Inside Zelda, Story and that was fun. Cap. I have not played Minish Cap. Size and dive into oh. A big adventure. Local and online play is supported for compatible games, and up to four players can <laughs> play together. They're reiterating this point again. Remember, you can play online. Don't forget. More games will be added to this Metroid library Fusion. as well. Golden, uh, oh no, Golden Sun. After this presentation, you can play these Game Boy titles with the Nintendo Switch Online membership. Ah, uh, Advance is expansion Advance pack. Titles with the Nintendo Switch Online Plus expansion pack Dang membership. it. <laughs> Meanwhile, our host has gotten distracted. Game Boy titles <laughs> will be playable on Nintendo Switch. Yes. And after today's Nintendo Direct, you'll be able to play the Game Boy and Game Boy Advance titles we introduced. Please look forward to more information about Nintendo Switch Online will do. and Nintendo Switch Online Plus Expansion Pack in the future. Let's see a few more headlines. The original Metroid <gasps> game is remastered on Nintendo For Switch. It's actually happening. I've never played the first one. Or any of the Prime games, actually. It looks beautiful, though. Just tell me this is Metroid 4 and I would have believed it. <laughs> 
2D there for a second. Oh man. I'm gonna have to look at the original Metroid Prime to see how much better it looks. The first Metroid Prime game, originally released on the Nintendo GameCube system, has been remastered for Nintendo Switch. Explore Talon 4 from the perspective of Samus Aran. But beware, there's more to this alien planet than meets the eye. Visors are the key to your adventure. They'll help you discover info and clues on how to progress. Okay. Depending on the situation, a certain visor may We're be required. We're getting a lot of games. When hostile creatures attack, keep them in your sights with a lock-on feature. Then fight back with beams, missiles, bombs, oh. and more. <laughs> There's Metroids in this game. <laughs> this remaster I played Metroid Dread, so that's the one where it's like not you to super. Move around while separately changing really a whole lot of Metroids in that one. You can also select a control style that recreates the feel of the original game, among other control options. Explore Talon 4 with your preferred playstyle. The digital version of Metroid Prime when is it coming out? launches uh... on Nintendo eShop later today. The what? Version of the game I don't have time to play all these games. <laughs> wow. Put your master detective skills to the test. This is the World Detective Organization. Yuma, a trainee detective, and Shinigami, the spirit haunting him, will solve the strange incidents within Kanai Ward. A city ruthlessly controlled by Amaterasu Corporation. You'll investigate these incidents alongside master detectives of the organization. Each one has a supernatural ability that can prove useful during investigations. Mimic body types and voices with disguise. Detect heartbeats and whispers with audio aptitude. What the? and witness past crime scenes with post cognition these abilities can be shared this is with creepy you but so cool this is post cognition so use them to get closer to cracking a case after collecting enough evidence a mystery labyrinth will appear spot the inconsistencies and uncover the truth <laughs> to uncover the truth, you must Master battle in the Detective dream Archives realm. <laughs> Rain Code launches on Nintendo Switch June 30th. Oh. Wings of the Heart take flight once more. A remastered collection of both Botan Kaidos games, originally released on the Nintendo GameCube system, is coming to Nintendo Switch. After a long and peaceful era on the floating islands above Earth, the Empire's conspiracy looms closer. As spirits dwelling within the protagonists, you'll stand up to the Empire across two different eras of war. During your travels, you'll visit various locales and team up with like-minded Oh my gosh, I played this game. Battles are fought using cards called Magnus. I played this game! Your attack power is determined when I was by like the attributes seven. and combinations of your cards. And I forgot about it. My mom got rid of it. So I was cursing at it. <laughs> and I loved this game. No way. I forgot about this. And I remembered remembering I liked this, but not knowing what it was called. But in Kaidos 1 and 2. I need to get this game back. <laughs> I loved it so much. <laughs> This is so funny. <laughs> Batten Kaidos, Batten Kaidos. Your new fantasy life. I really like fantasy life. Is this live the life you want in a new fantasy life game? Ooh. While exploring this is the one where you get to choose your career and kind of like go through that the whole game with it. Girl. 
<laughs> New plot point. <laughs> then travel between past and present to make the island your own. This is Animal Crossing. Woodcutter, angler, cook, blacksmith. You get to swap your roles? Fascinating. Magician, and more. Then what's the difference of just having all the roles at the same the time? How will you rebuild? This has totally been influenced by Animal Crossing, though. To <laughs> Hopefully not too much. After 1,000 years, the restoration is about to begin. Fantasy Life Ah, the girl who steals Fantasy time. Life Ah. <laughs> and that's by level 5, too. Fascinating. I forgot they did those. <gasps> it's Professor Layton. No. Yes. Yes. <laughs> oh my gosh. This is huge. This is the best direct I've decided. Oh, so many good games. Wave four is racing in. <gasps> no, give me more information about Professor Layton. No, no. Ah! Yoshi's Island. Okay, I gotta calm down. Into wave four of the <gasps> that made me so happy. Booster course pass okay. DLC. This course looks fantastic. I don't think I've ever played it before. Birdo, who <gasps> hit the track in Mario double Kart dash, double baby. Dash is also being added to wave four. Wave 4 of the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe Booster Course Pass DLC for the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe game races onto the Nintendo Switch system this spring. Active Nintendo Switch Online Plus Expansion Pack members can enjoy this DLC at no additional cost. The DLC can also be purchased nice. on its own. Wait, we already knew that, didn't we? <laughs> and there's even more you can play on Nintendo Switch. I'm excited for that. I hope it's fun. I don't get the difference between this and Minecraft Dungeons too much, because it's kind of similar, but oh well. Well, that's so cool. The art style. There's so many games. This has always looked great. <laughs> Wii Sports! Simba. <laughs> A clarification. <laughs> Not that dumb. <laughs> One more thing. With us so far. Breath of the Wild. This will be our last Tears segment. of the Kingdom. Please take a look. Yes! Ha <laughs> Flying beasts? They're mining. Why are they mining? Rise, rise, my servants. Oh no. Sweep over Hyrule. Eliminate this kingdom and her allies. Oh, who is this? Leave no survivors. I thought we beat Ganon. What happened? So things are rising into the sky. The enemies are getting re-reborn. But by what? Oh man. 
like a moblin leader. <laughs> Whoa. But Link, I am not sure you'll be able to stop him. <laughs> the ground is screwed, so we're just going up into the sky. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa! Minecart, more puzzles. House is in a cave? Okay. Magnesis with his hand, so he's not using the... Was that a car? <laughs> you can build, like, things to fly around with. Oh, come on. Is it Malice? Please, lend him your power. Goosebumps. That was The Legend of Zelda, Tears of the Kingdom. So the excited. Entry in The Legend of Zelda series. May 12. In addition to the standard version, that's like three and a half months away. Of the so game close. Containing various items will release on launch day. A new amiibo figure of Link from this game oh, cool. will also be available on the same day. We hope you are looking forward to Link's latest grand adventure. I am. <laughs> that's all for today's Nintendo Direct. Unless. Thank you for watching. Oh my gosh. That was so good. They had Splatoon sub dropping today. They had that other game that I'm going to look up the name of Batu Taki Can for my youth. Metroid Prime remake. Breath of the Wild Tears of the Kingdom. That had like actual like new gameplay and stuff like that in it, which is fantastic. There was so much. So much. That was a really good direct. Well, I'm going to head out and get prepared to download the new Splatoon DLC. And I will see you guys later. Um, check in to see more videos on that. Thanks for watching.